Hey guys, welcome to Generation Platinum and this week on Just Two Friends Talking Gaming we're going to take a big deep dive into PlayStation Stars. Now, Jack is going to lead this one because he's got a hard on for PlayStation Stars. Um, no, just kidding. He's uh, He is just a little bit more up to date with all the news. Um, I'm going to dive in with my opinions, not that anyone actually cares what I say, but... I don't. Exactly. Um, but I've got my own opinions on this right now, so does Jack, and it's probably going to be a little bit of a controversial episode. Um, yeah. Let's go I mean, right in. Right off the bat, two things. You say Jack will be leading. Jack's leader because Mark forgot what topic we were doing today. Um, Correct. <laughs> and second, if you want to do a controversial episode, I've got opinions, and I was thinking about this a lot last night when I couldn't sleep. Hideo Kojima's pretty mid, isn't he? His or, games are pretty mid as well. Or get out. <laughs> and you, he does not deserve the, you, the hype he's been given. Are you coming at me? Like, is this, is this a... Mm. Is this he's a, sat there thinking attack. about it. And his, ga- his games don't make sense. They're half-baked ideas that never get resolutions. He's only really popular because Konami got rid of him. Metal Gear Solid's air. Death Stranding's air. There are people that deserve more hype than him, like uh, Corey Barlog, <laughs> Sam Lake, Neil Druckmann, Jade Raymond, Amy Henning, all those people. I, way more way more than him. I, and his whole you, campaign, he, I'm, 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 I'm kind of pissed off because I'm, I'm getting annoyed by his campaign on Twitter <laughs> that everyone's retreating. Where am I? Who am I? Pictures of Ellie Fanning. I don't care. Your game will you? come out with these crazy ideas that won't make sense in the game and won't ever get a resolution and then people will say you're the best game maker alive. Okay, have you actually played any of his games? I've played some of the Metal Gear Solids, yeah. Which one have you played? Number four. Uh, I played Guns of the Patriots. I played the two parter ones. The most the last two. I can't remember what they're Ground called. Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain. Yeah, I've not played a lot of Phantom Pain. Um and I've also played one where he's in a hospital. That's Ground Zeroes. That's the prequel oh, well. part. Yeah, I would have thought you would have played Guns of the Patriots, the PS3 one. Did I just ah, uh, I have played a PS3 one. I just don't remember what it's called. It would have been Guns of the Patriots. You're telling me Death Stranding makes sense and resolves all of its questions? Hmm. I haven't played it. I mean, I haven't finished it. Um, I and yeah, say, it does. I'd say it does. It. Um, all those ideas just weird for the sake of being weird. They're different. They're very unique. It's a unique game. How? Because it's... I mean, it's a, it's a postman simulator at its essence. But, like... I don't know. There's not a game like it. I don't know if you could choose a game that is exactly like Death Stranding. Doesn't make it good. But it is good. And plus, Norman Reedus is in it, which helps. Yeah, that, 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 that helps. But I just don't think he's the legend of the industry people think he is. I, no, I agree. I agree. But his games are good, is my point. My counterpoint but is they're that his games incredible. are good. I guess and it depends what And half the things he promised... Gaming. Do you remember when he was promising this whole social strand feature that was going to revolutionise gaming? Oh, that went nowhere, didn't it? <laughs> I mean, he's trying his best to... Uh, it's like James Cameron with Avatar, you know? He's trying his best to push the boundaries of the industry, Jack. Fuck off with David Cameron trying to push David Cameron. Did I say David Cameron? <laughs> I know, I did. Oh, okay. The prime, the old yeah. UK Prime Minister. Yeah, um, no, no. He's not pushing the boundaries. He's just making things in CGI. Pixar have been doing that for ages. Get Look, have you, have you seen Avatar? I have seen Avatar. It's the best <laughs> film ever. I can't stop thinking of the come fly with me guy. You haven't <laughs> seen Avatar. You are gay. That's... You just that's start. me. That's, that's my opinion on it. I love it. I went to see it in the cinema the other day and it just still holds up. Death Stranding sold 5 million copies. That's not good, is it? No, that's decent. Oh. I mean, Uncharted 1 sold 2.6 for context. Oh, really? For debut game. But then Uncharted, what did Uncharted 4, 4 sold 15 million. Oh, so it's not that good. But then again, Uncharted 4 would be a... For the, you've got a member for the time and stuff. And yeah, and I guess Uncharted I'm 4 I'm just saying, be, yeah. he would not be in the top five of legendary video game creators. Okay, who would be? 
Um, I mean, it's obviously a personal list. So mine probably, if I, if I said mine, wouldn't be the same as mine. everyone else's. I just, I just don't think he's done anything to really revolutionise anything. And his games are just... <coughs> No one really understands what's going on now. Why is there a baby fetus in a canister? What, what's wrong with you? What so you can you take? You can, so you can go to the beach. Sorry, what? So you can go to the beach. The, the, so you can the see babies? the demons on the beach. Right, and this is the man we're saying is a legendary creator. Is that's the reason? I mean, I think we're getting off topic, but um, before I we get back onto topic, you said beach. How are you feeling about that crash crash thing going around the internet right now? Oh, I didn't even look into it. I saw it this morning briefly. What is it, a new game? So the Crash 4 is launching on Steam now. Um, and they sent <laughs> out like these pizza boxes, right? Um, yeah. And on the front, it's like order when, and then it's got like the day it comes to Steam, blah, blah, blah. On the side of every box, it says, try our new Wampa pizza or something like that. And the date for trying the new Wampa Pizza is the Game Awards. Ah, oh, yes. So, looks like we might be getting a new Crash game announced. So, apparent, apparently it's called Crash Bandicoot's Wampa League. I heard this might be a multiplayer game. If it's like Crash Bash, from back in the day, which was like a mini-game type uh, party kind of deal. Um, mm. If it's something like that, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna make a, a million easy. I'd hope a they make a lot more than that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just like saying a million. Okay. Well, I'm glad we agree. New Crash game, good. Hideo Kojima, bad. What? We're so, not agreeing on that. But oh, wow. live and let live. Let bygones be bygones, and agree to disagree. No. Anyway. Anyway. PlayStation. <laughs> Play. Play. PlayStation oh. stars. I think I got COVID. Jesus, PlayStation stars. Um, <laughs> how, I think I've got COVID how, too. Oh no, the virus is spreading through the laptop. It's, it's coming back. It is in the UK. It's fucking mad. So, someone told mm. me that Hampshire is one of the worst places in the UK. Fucking hell. I'm glad I moved. <laughs> I'm glad you moved too, but for different Oi. reasons. Savage. Um, PlayStation stars. It's only ten minutes or so into this podcast, and we're finally talking about the topic. It's fine, it's fine. People love the content. How was your day yesterday? It was right, I went to Go Ape. <laughs> yeah. And then I watched Strictly Come Dancing. Yeah. And I got yeah. Domino's. I got Domino's? What'd you get? I got a veggie, veggie supreme on a... Oh yeah, a vegan life. Yeah, on a um, Italian crust. But... I swapped out the mushrooms for jalapenos and I swapped out the sweet corn for gherkins. Now, I made a mistake because the gherkins were not good <laughs> on the pizza. I ate it all, but I made a, a grave error. <laughs> um, so yeah, I uh, fucked up there. It strictly was fine. And then at the end of the night, everyone laughed at me because I started talking about mollusks. So that was nice. I started talking about what? Mollusks. The fuck is a mollusk? It's like a shelled creature. It's like a clam or a snail. They were asking... Right. right. I'm not going to go into it. I'm going to go into it. They basically started talking about animals that could, you know, reproduce by themselves. And I said, I think, like, snails or, like, mollusks. And then I had to explain what a mollusk was. And then as... Because I was, like, not focused on what I was saying, apparently I said it really monotone and everyone laughed because I sound like a huge nerd. That was it. It's incredible that you've lost your virginity. Honestly, I, I, I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how, especially with this tash right now. Like, I'm not really sure. I like it. I like it too, but um, a lot of people don't. Good thing it's not their face. Yeah, and a lot of people do as well at work. People are co commenting on my uh, tash. They haven't actually said... It's good. They've said, you look different. <laughs> so. Oh, that's not what I'm, you want to hear. I'm taking it as a plus. So. Yeah. Anyway, PlayStation Stars. With... Thank you for asking about my day, though. Yeah, it's fine. You didn't ask about mine. PlayStation Stars. So, it is now out in <laughs> Asia and the Americas. 
Um, yep. We're not out here in the UK where we are. Speaking of UK, one last sidetrack. I want to give a, I want to give a little bit of shout out right now. Uh, just before we started this, I'm going through our analytics on YouTube, right? Yep. Seeing where all two people that watch this episode come from. And I see in the research of places around the world um, where people watch our content, 2% from Jersey. Hi, Luke. Hey, Luke. PlayStation Stars. <laughs> it, so, yeah, it's out now in America. It's out now in Asia. And boy, are people not happy. Mm-hmm. Um, I, we, I was considering suggesting to you we do a little bit of a review when it comes down to the UK um, Next week for us, as of recording, it will already be out by the time this posts. I don't want anything to do with this when it comes out. I would like this to be the last time we talk about it. This yep. looks god fucking awful. So, so uh, it's supposed to be. Oh, go on. No, oh. no. I was just gonna um, tell tell the people <coughs> what it is. Um, <laughs> I hate that noise. Um, <laughs> Um, I was going to tell the people what it is in regards to um, what PlayStation calls it. So Mm -hmm. on their site, it says, you know, introducing PlayStation Stars, enroll for free, complete campaigns and earn rewards. It says that it's a brand new loyalty program that celebrates you and your gaming journey with us. PlayStation Stars will be free to join when it launches later this year. Um, Apparently, you can, you know, complete campaigns, earn points, you get digital collectibles, and then there's more to come. They say, what's next? You know, so... Um, yeah, that gives you a brief overview of what it is. It's their answer to Xbox as a Nintendo service, right? Um, with Xbox leading the way on it. Mm. But it seems as it's come out, as always, like we said in the last episode of Sony, there's always a but. And it's yep. not the good kind of but. Not with a PH. Not the bunda. You know. Not the Bunda kind of but, it's a, it's a bad but. It seems to be pointless, half-baked idea, and the point system doesn't seem to be very fair. So let's start with the collectibles. Fuck, mm-hmm. you've seen this image going around, right? I sent it to you. Yeah, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually add it here to the edit, so I remember, because I think people need to see it, because it's god-fucking-awful. Yeah, um, I agree. So it's a, for those just listening, it's a digital shelf that on the phone app. Because remember, this isn't launching on consoles yet. It's going to next year, I believe, but it's just on the phone app for now. It's a digital shelf that you can seemingly change the background of. And this is where you store your collectibles you earn from doing various things, whether that's completing campaigns or buying certain games, etc. What in the fucking year six... Photoshop <laughs> lesson is this bullshit. <laughs> it it's literally awful. looks like it looks like they've gone. Oh, you know when you're at work and you forget a deadline, and then you, somebody asks you about this piece of work that you're doing, and you go, "Oh yeah, I've I've done some," and you kind of pull together a report or something, and you send it off. This is mm. looks like that. So it looks like someone's gone. Oh yeah, that PS PS Stars PlayStation Stars. Are you? Is that? Are you that doing good that? to go? You're doing that right? Yeah, and they've gone. Oh yeah. <laughs> and they've Google imaged bookshelf <laughs> and they've just put like PlayStation icons on it, you know? It looks really bad. And I thought when you sent me that image, I thought it was fake. Because it's yeah, that bad. I thought it was fake too. I thought people were just trying to make a joke about it and trying to get some viral memes out. But no, it's fucking real. And the fact that the collectibles sink into the shelf by the look of it, like mm. the, when they're, like the leveling is awful. It just seems to be half in the shelf. The I swear there's like some artifacting issues as well. It just it looks like the intern, the uni student that's on his year placement, rocked up day one and they said, What can I do? And they went, You wanna make some JPEGs? <laughs> and he's going, yeah, yeah, fuck it, why not? Yeah, might as well. <laughs> and they're all static, I believe. I don't think you can like pick them up and rotate them or like have them spin around and I think they just sit there and they do nothing. That's bad. And you will never you will never not convince me that this didn't start off as some NFT bullshit. <laughs> yeah. This was definitely meant to be or if not NFTs, this was definitely supposed to be some trading system, I guarantee it. Yeah. And then the whole NFT thing blew up as being bad and they scrapped the idea, but there's no point to <coughs> it otherwise. 
Yeah, I just don't. I don't see the point um, unless it's. Obviously, it has the the loyalty side of things is a little bit different to the collectible side of things. They go hand in hand, but they are different. But maybe this is purely and innocently just a way to differentiate from Xbox's loyalty program or Nintendo's. You know, so you have the loyalty, the point system, but PlayStation have turned around and gone, well, we have these collectibles, so you should, you know, spend your money with us, which is another point we'll get into. <laughs> yeah. And and that's not necessarily a bad idea, but put some fucking effort into it. Yeah, that, that like I, I don't think the collectibles is is some is for me. Even if it it was of high quality, but that doesn't mean it's bad. But when you don't put the effort into it, then it becomes bad. Like there's no harm in having collectibles, sure, but just why they look awful. Yeah, they look like uh, PS3 kind of. Renders, don't they? They don't look mm. good. They um, look terrible. I'm looking at I'm looking at like the um, Ape Escape one now. The guy on the um, the boat, and there's a little cat thing as well. Which they don't look good. Like I don't want. I would, like, obviously I want to collect them, but mm. I also don't want to collect them. They're not cool enough. Like, I mean, I'm sure you'll get cooler ones like Kratos doing something wicked, you know, later on, but. The ones that they've shared, like the the kind of first run of collectibles that you're likely to get, they don't look good. Um, mm. I don't. I'm not enjoying it. Basically, uh, uh, this it just feels like a half baked idea that they've just mm. kind of shot out and hoped for the best. I tell you where this makes more sense. This is some PlayStation Home bullshit. <laughs> No, They're... no, hear me out. Like, this would make sense in PlayStation Home that they yeah. display on a bookshelf or something in your apartment. Like, or in VR, you can see it. Forget PlayStation Home for a second. In VR, you can see your bookshelf and pick up the collectibles and have a look. This mm. just feels like a half baked idea. And it looks bad, which doesn't help. Well, there's a lot of rumors going around that PS Home is, is probably making a comeback. Uh, we'll save that for that episode. Now you know why I wanted to talk about it earlier. Yeah, I get you. I have thoughts. I have ideas for that. Yeah, guys, check in in like two weeks and we'll be probably probably be discussing PlayStation Home. And how to design it, I think. I think that'd be fun if we designed PlayStation Home too. Yeah, all right. But, so collectibles is one thing. Players yeah. discover that it'll cost up to $1,750 to claim a single free game via PlayStation Stars. Which what is which is, is insane. Bullshit? Because... That's equivalent to $25, $70 PS5 games. Yeah, like if you if you're spending that much money, you know, in in the store, you might as well just buy the game, you know. And I I, I don't know, like I know, uh I don't know if it's their way of trying to get people to use the store more, mm. but I'm definitely not going to. Like, I like no. having physical copies of games. Like, I mean, people in people that are watching, you can see in the background. Like, there are games there, like old games. But downstairs, I've got you know a bookcase of games. You know, I like having the physical releases to, well, resellable mostly, but. You know, when you have the special editions and stuff, it's it's nice to keep. Hmm. Yeah, and it's also worth noting that we'll get into it on how you earn points actually. But so this article comes from Game Radar from Hope Bellingham, who says the new PlayStation's reward scheme could require players to spend around one thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars in order to claim one free game. As pointed out by Tweaktown. One PlayStation player has figured out the PS Plus subscribers will need to shell out 1.7 on games from the PlayStation Store in order to earn enough points to claim one of the higher priced free games as part of the new rewards program. They reckon in their breakdown it's one point per every 10 cents spent on games, including taxes. As an example, um, they get 742 points in exchange for $74.20 they spent on pre ordering God of War Ragnarok. Um, this is just ridiculous. So, which just means in order to claim one of the higher priced games currently on offer through the rewards scheme, example the Quarry, which retails at around $70 for 
for 70, 17 sorry, 1,500 points, players will need to sp um, spend at least $1,750. Yeah, this is the equivalent of buying 25 full-priced PS5 games. <coughs> it should be also noted that you cannot... You will not get points if you buy the game using PSN credit. It has to come straight what? from the wallet section, so to speak. So in our friend group, we like to hand out PS, uh, PSN cards for people's birthdays. If mm. you buy something with that, that does not give you points. That's madness. It has to be that's, straight from your wallet. That's, too, that's so stupid. I've also read that there's no way... Obviously, this goes back to the, the store, the physical thing, but there's no way to kind of redeem the points if you buy a game physically so you can't no, not at all you can't like which which is a completely missed opportunity like mm. and it's dumb like I, I i get the different like keeping it different keeping it the same but there should be a way to kind of register that you bought a new game even if it's like sending a picture and you have to have a, like a certain amount of you know id the date um i don't i don't know I don't know, but there must be ways that you can verify that you've bought this new game and it's the day and you maybe have to go through this rigmarole of going, okay, well, I have bought this £70 game or £60 game. Um, I want the points for that. And they're basically turn around and going, sorry, no, you have to use your, your hard-earned money to mm. get, get any points. And that's stupid because I don't spend money in the store. I know a lot of people that don't. Because the prices are not good, <laughs> unless there's a huge sale on, in which case. But that's another point, well, isn't it? I think. Yeah, I mean, you and if you, even if you buy something in a huge sale, like ninety percent off, well, then you're only getting ten percent worth of points. So. Yeah. Still, wouldn't really be, you know, it's uh it's just, it's madness. It's also they're not doing it retrospectively as well. So the first campaign, one of the first campaigns right now, to earn like fifty fucking points. You need to buy one of the games on a list, right? And oh, right. some of them are like Saints Row and Last of Us Part One. And people are like, I bought them release day. Do I get my points? Oh no, no, no. Buy another game. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> so You're not gonna dumb. retrospectively like if I if you met, set out a campaign that's like buy this game and earn trophies and I've already bought it and got a platinum, will I get the points? No. Oh well, yeah. okay then, sure. It's just it's on, on Twitter, it's leaving a bad taste in people's mouth when mm. they've seen this and they've figured this all out. They've just gone, well, this this is madness. It's actually making, like, from what I've seen, it's making a lot of people rethink Sony and how they work. There's a huge, like, discord between what's better now, like Xbox or PlayStation. Um, and I thought we were over this, but it seems to have come back kind of like with a with a bit of a vengeance. Um mm. Yeah, so I don't think Sony have really thought about these things. And a lot of their campaigns seem to be uh, sent. These campaigns is how you earn points, by the way. Um, right. Outside of just buying games on the store or renewing your PlayStation Plus subscription. These campaigns seem to be mainly focused around spending money. There is one campaign at the moment that's... Um, it gives you, like start this game based on this clue right and the clue is something like a, the, all the clues are song related so it's like what game is the name of this song that came out in blah 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 whatever something like that mm. um and all the games uh you just have to start them and they're all available on the ps plus um, surface so you don't have to pay for anything so that one's kind of cool if not a bit weird it's, it makes yeah. it makes the whole thing a bit gamey something to work towards um but outside of that, most of their campaigns at the moment, and bear in mind it has only just launched, is about spending money and then getting trophies in the games you've brought. Um, it's just, that's not... When you're competing with Microsoft in particular, how well do you know their rewards program? Um, I don't know it as well as you, but I know that it's 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 pretty good. Like uh, yeah. I've seen Jordan log her rewards and stuff and basically i'm uh, obviously correct me if i'm wrong but you you have like quizzes so you have quizzes mm. where you can you have to answer like 10 questions each right question you get some points um i don't know if you have to i don't know about buying buying games gives you points does it 
No, so as far as I'm aware, buying games does not give you points, but I don't buy games on the Xbox, so I, yeah. I, I could be wrong there. But with Xbox, the majority of their ways to earn points is not via spending a single penny. Mm-hmm. So there, there, there are certainly um, campaigns, not that Xbox calls it that, for like, oh, this new game's come out, buy it and <coughs> um, play it, and we'll give you like 5,000 points. Yeah. There's a couple of those, and that's fine. But the majority of them require people to not spend a penny at all. So you get your daily quizzes that you can do. And mm-hmm. of course, it doesn't give you a lot of points, but it all builds up if you're willing to spend the 10 minutes a day. You've got your weekly challenges, which again, never require spending money. It's just like things like use Bing 50 times in a week, yeah, open the that. rewards program three days in a row, um, earn three trophies, uh, achievements, sorry. Um, but it's never money related. Then you've got your monthly ones, which again aren't money related. They're just a, yeah. they're the weekly ones, but just over more days. Basically, you can earn fifty points for um, for your first achievement of the day every day. Um, okay. You get Game Pass um, uh, campaigns, so to speak, where it's like uh, play one of these ten games on Game Pass and get a trophy, an achievement, and we'll give you a thousand points. Yeah, there's so many ways to get points to spend on money, and their ratio seems to be a little bit better. So it's every five thousand five hundred. I want to say it's five pounds in credit. Um, and the That's weekly quests. No, so the weekly quests are, I think, normally a hundred points, but they they stack. So once you hit a streak of five, ten, fifteen, you get like a thousand thrown on top for free. Oh, like um, a bonus? Or... Yeah, it's a bonus, yeah. yeah, for doing it for so many weeks in a row without failing. Um, the monthly ones are normally 2,000. Um, the Game Pass ones are normally 500 to 1,000. Uh, 50 points for just getting an achievement. Um, they randomly, once a week, just give you 100 points. The quests can be anywhere nice. from 30 to 100 points. So you just do that over a month, and you're almost at five quid. And I mean, none of this is obviously fantastic because it's still a lot of work for little money, but it's cons- it's for, for sure it, the best out of everyone out there. Yeah, and it's free. And it, yeah, and you don't have to spend a penny. If you do spend a penny, of course, they'll give you like, if you buy the new Gears of War game or whatever, they'll give you like 6,000 points for buying yeah. it. And but of course, what, so... Sorry, I was going to ask what their rewards are like because I know that you've... You've racked up quite a lot of points at this point. Now, yeah. You? Or so, you had. I don't know if you've spent them yet. but Yeah, I spent 30,000 odd not too long ago on um, Tony Hawk. Oh, and yeah. And then I'm, a... I'm, I'm back at 30 quid again since then. Um, how long has it been since I bought Tony Hawk? I want to say... About a month or two. No, nah, it's been longer than that. No, because anyway. it came out, it's with the PS, it was around... Yeah, but I got it on sale, didn't I? Mm. And Tony Hawk's been out for like a year, I want to say. came yeah, out last year. You didn't get it straight away, did you? I thought you got it like just before it came onto PS Plus. Uh, cause... Yeah, on Xbox, yeah. Yeah, um, so I think it was like two two months ago. Maybe eight mm. weeks, uh, maybe ten weeks. Maybe I didn't spend all my points then. But either way, I, I'm, I'm back at 30 quid's worth of points. Um and I know Tony Hawk cost me about 30, so 60 quid. Um, if you're willing just to put the 10, 20 minutes in a day, I mean, the monthly quest is a bit different because sometimes it's like earn three achievements in any game. Um, yeah. So sometimes those are longer, but they, you do have a month to complete it. Um, I don't spend money on the Xbox. I have the Xbox for Game Pass. Um, yeah. I think the only real money outside of my subscription renewal I've put into Game Pass is... Uh, prince of persia like three quid so nice. that's why i don't really know if you get points for spending money because yeah spend yeah money on it. i mean i don't i don't <laughs> I barely use but, my game pass let alone buy a game on xbox so yeah but so <laughs> for context um, <coughs> if i've spent three quid on the xbox and uh i've got 60 quid's worth of games back over the course of maybe about a year it's not that's not terrible and i haven't had to spend the 1750 that uh playstation yeah. have required you so you can redeem the points of various things you've got your five pound credit you've got your 10 pound credit your 25 pound credit etc etc um you can also use it to 
buy anything off the Microsoft Store, so you can buy controllers, headsets. You can get a m- money off an Xbox as well if you want. Um, oh, really? Can you yeah, buy a, an Xbox purely on points? Or do if they you have set a up limit? enough points, yeah. Nice. But That's you, actually but pretty good. Yeah, but 450 quid or however much the Xbox is these days, that's going to take, a, you know, and every 5,500 is five pounds. That's going to take a lot of points. Yeah, but if you um, if you want the other one, is it the S? The Xbox S? The S Series yeah. S? That's only like 250 or maybe still less. still a lot of points, though. It's still a lot of points, but it's not, it's not that 400 quid no. slot. But still, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've never tried to buy an Xbox with my points, so maybe there's a limit, but it doesn't seem to be. If it's on the store, you can spend it with your points, and they've got, as I said, controllers, Xboxes, headsets, all the different coloured um, controllers. Um, you can also get vouchers for it. You can get um, John Lewis vouchers and stuff. That's not bad. So you, That's really good. I'm. It's a much better. I, I don't know why that. you're not doing this. Man. I, I just thought it was just like, you know, you look at, you look at Bing for a little bit and you get a couple of points, you know. I actually might might start this. You know, 10, 10, 10, 10 20 minutes a day, and I'll get, yeah. get an Xbox controller, you know. Exactly. Mm. As I said, I've bought Tony Hawk and I'm about to buy Destroy All, Hu- Destroy All Humans 2 for 35 quid. The new one, the remake. Mm-hmm. Damn. That's good. I'm just having That's a look nice. what you can redeem your points on now to get a bit of more and how comprehensive long... list. How how long did you say it took you to get 30, 30 quid? A couple of months. I've had the I only got my Xbox this year. I want to say. Yeah, yeah. So within, but so you yeah, spent so within quite a this bit year, on Tony I've Hawk, got, so you got like six yeah, quid but, this year. Yeah, about that. That's not bad. That sounds about right. That's really good. No, Imagine without if, spending a penny, just putting in the chore of doing my quizzes. Um, we uh, yeah. playing the Xbox Pass, uh, Xbox Game Pass games to get my three trophies. Because the quizzes and stuff you can actually do on your computer as well, can't you? Because you can log into Xbox and then go through the loyalty program that way. Yep. Which is good because if you've got like I don't know I don't know if it ever gets up to a hundred searches in Bing or whatever, but say you're at work, 50. you just fifty. Yes. So mm-hmm. say you have to do fifty searches, you could just rinse through that in ten minutes at work. You know, not even ten minutes, but. You know, you're on your laptop anyway, so you might as well smash through it. Um, fuck, I might do. I'm. Not, I. You, you know what? I'm. I'm in. <laughs> I've been telling you for ages. You've been sleeping on Game Pass. It's the know. best value for money in gaming. I. Know. I actually. Little little tip for anyone watching. Um, in the six seven months I've had an Xbox. Probably not that long. Five months. I've only spent two pounds on Game Pass. How? Because I, I I let it run out, and then I get one of those trials or whatever you know. Try Game Pass for three months for one pounds, and then I cancel the subscription. So then it runs out, and then I have to you know I just find another one. Filthy. It's it's a good tip, um, but then again I don't use it, so that's why I'm I, I'm not happy to pay the subscription because I. Can Never use it, but I might now. But you should be, because the game is on there. I know, There's so many games, dude. You can play there the entire that... Gears of War franchise. Yeah, I know, but there's that. There's also Lost Planet, which I always wanted to play as a kid. Um, there's Trek to Yumi, Yomi, which is new. The little samurai 2D platformer, which looks sick. I was playing um, the Hellsinger game, or whatever that's called, last night. Metal Hellsinger. Mm. Is it good? The rhythm I've only shooter. played the tutorial. Yeah, no, it's not a shooter. Um, uh, yeah, I've only shooter. played the tutorial, so I don't have an opinion on it. Well, you start with a sword, so I don't know. If you get a gun later, then I'll, I'll eat my words. But at the moment, oh, yeah, you, def- you definitely do. The, the, it's okay. a rhythm-based game, though, right? Yeah, it's a rhythm-based yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that Danny was talking about. I left that group chat. I wouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, but my point is there's so many fantastic games on there. Um, I actually think yeah, I think Danny has mentioned it to me as well. Yeah, I don't know, but um, there's so many fantastic games on there. It's such good value for money. And again, I couldn't without turning my Xbox on. I can't get you a complete list, but I know for sure you can do 
Xbox credit, you can do... <coughs> and with that credit, of course, on the Xbox store, you can get films and TV shows. Um, mm. You can buy real-life products. You can enter... I mean, no one does, but you can enter sweepstakes to potentially win something. Um, Sorry, you, you have to use your, life... use your points to enter the sweepstakes, all right? Yeah. But it's like only like 100 to enter a sweepstake compared to, you know, the 5,500 to get five. Yeah, I mean, I think um, Jordan did one once for, for the fridge. Yeah, the Xbox fridge that they had. Mm. She, yeah. did, she did it weird, obviously. But, um, um, you know. you, yeah, and I know you can definitely get M&S vouchers. I know, I think Skype was on there at one point. They rotate some things and out, but you can get real world money from this. Yeah. Like... With my, if, if I want, and I think it's all, I would have to double check, I think it's all the same value. So 5,500 for five quid of Xbox, I think is the same for five quid worth of M&S vouchers. I've never tried to do it, so I don't know. And I don't know if there'll be a limit on how many you can redeem a month. That's, um, that's so good. Like, that's but a, either way, let's say there's no limit. I could potentially get 30 quid shop right now. Um, yeah, I was just, I was just, just about doing to say, that's a, that's a real life bonus you mm. know like a real life benefit to actually putting some time in it's like working but you know yeah i just don't know if there is a fun. limit but yeah that's pretty cool but sony's tried to replicate this back to the point and they've just got it mm. way off the same way as they they were way off with their version of game pass um i mean I, it's I, just go on mm, i was i was gonna say i was just gonna defend playstation plus a little bit there i do i Obviously, I no, I like super... it. I do like it. Yeah, I think I think the only thing they're missing from PS Plus, I know this isn't what the the video is about, is that whole Game Pass day one release. You know, mm. we're not being benefited to for paying the extortionate prices a month. Um, whereas with Game Pass, you pay it's cheaper, and you 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 get all these day one releases. You know, you know, exactly. we joked about it when you know, Gamescom and stuff comes around, it's just day one release on Game Pass, and it's like mm. every time it game comes up, but yeah, I mean, I, I agree with you, they're, hitting, they're, they're not hitting the mark on, on a lot of these things. Yeah, I mean, Game Pass in the UK, it's ten ninety nine, right? So, if mm. you pay Game Pass for 10 months, you finally, you, seven months, <clears throat> <Nah. coughs> if you pay Game Pass for seven months, that's the equivalent of buying one PlayStation first party game release. And how many free games day one releases are you getting in that seven month period on Xbox? No, loads. Exactly. Loads. So it's yet again going back to stars to put this all into context, it's just another case of Sony trying to trying to replicate Xbox or at least compete, maybe not replicate. Mm. Um, and it's just cutting it short. That is so much money to spend specifically in the store as well. Um to get just a 70 quid game. Meanwhile, yeah. I've spent nothing but my 10.99 a month and a Prince of Persia game at three pounds on the Xbox. And I'm about to get my second 30 quid game. So 60 quid in, yeah. in that time period for having spent what? Assuming I'm correct, which I think I am, my 10.99 subscription does not give me points. For spending three pounds, I've gotten 60 quid worth of games. Yeah, and good games as well. Like mm. they don't, I can imagine like PlayStation would probably, well, they'll probably limit you. I think you said they've got a limit right now of the games that you can buy. So it seems like yeah, that if it's again another weird thing, Sony being weird. It seems like you can definitely buy your PlayStation Network credit, but also you can just spend it on a very specific game from their list if you want. Yeah, which is just weird. It's just strange. The point in that. Yeah, but yeah, it's. It's just so much money to have to put into something to get one game back. Especially at a time when, you know, again, slightly off topic, but you're looking at what console do you want? And you say, damn, PlayStation are selling their games for 70 fucking quid. Their first party games. Yeah. Or I could pay my £10 a month on Xbox. And with that, earn enough points within a year to get a game for free. Or a yeah. shot, or two two shots for free. I mean, as the cost of living crisis in the UK goes up, people are just going to be like, why would I pay 70 quid every couple of months for a brand new game? Yeah. And if you start, when it comes down to that, you do start looking at these little things like the Microsoft Awards, like the PlayStation Stars, to help decide where you're going to go. And PlayStation Stars has no benefit. 
Oh, yeah. And it's not. Unless not you like mention... collectibles. Yeah, well, we do, obviously, but like. Yeah, yeah. but. And better ones, please. Not even to mention, like, you can. You can buy. Obviously, obviously, I agree with your cost of living and, um, argument there, but it's also mm. like the, the cost of the console. Imagine if you're coming, you're like, okay, I've got some spare income, I want to buy a console. Mm. Your choice is either £450 for a PlayStation, or a little bit less, I think it's 375 for the digital, or you could buy uh, Xbox Series S for 250 you pay £11 a month and you get 400 plus games as well as new releases um, and with the added great loyalty scheme that they've got. And it's just like, it's a no-brainer if you come into it, Tabula Rasa, exactly. Blank Slate, you know, you just, yeah. It's, a, it, it's I, I'm only PlayStation because I, I love trophies. I like getting platinums, you know. There's, that's my enjoyment from games, you know. But people yeah. who don't have that, Xbox, I, I tell them to go Xbox, even though I don't, I don't, use game pass as i should mm. it's a fantastic product that, that they've got and they're dominating right now i think yeah uh, unless you care about the exclusives why would you go for playstation at this point and you yeah. keep seeing these little add-ons that maybe might swing someone towards them and they just miss i mean the playstation we are getting slightly off topic here but i think yeah. it all matters i think it all feeds into each other the playstation premium service is 13 pounds a month in the uk and i'm not getting day one releases for that now i like that service i don't mind it it's it's too expensive but mm. it's just not good value for money and then i'm being told if i want to get some fucking points i need to spend 1.7 <coughs> grand just to afford a game and then i look over at xbox like hey come buy us 10 quid a month and we'll give you everything you want to yeah. pay the new gears of war 6 when it comes out just give us 10 quid a month yeah okay cool fuck it yeah sure why not because even at 120 quid right let's forget the 99p bit for a second because i can't be bothered to do maths 120 <laughs> quid a year is not even two playstation plus exclusives on day one yeah when you put it into context it's just insanity i think this has suddenly become the playstation stars slash playstation game pass premium debate yeah, let's yeah. try and bring it back to stars a little bit. It's just, it's insanity <coughs> to me. It's it's another well, sign of PlayStation not being able to read the room, and they've always had that, right? Like um, PlayStation Plus was crap when it first came out. You couldn't change your name yeah. when it first came out. Well, it's um, still pretty crap. Like I like yeah. it because I I like having free games. Well, free games you still have to pay for them. You don't get them afterwards, but hmm. you know I like having that monthly game that I can go. Oh, I'll dive into that for a bit. But it's not worth it. Like the games you get are rubbish. Like you get occasionally you get a fantastic game, but it's old. Like it's an old fantastic game. So what did we have recently? I don't know. We had a good well, game recently. I completely forgot what it was. We, last week was last. Sorry, last month was Tony Hawk's month, right? Yeah. So we, yeah, and that I I didn't play it when it came out, but fantastic game to get on Game Plus. Game Plus. God. Uh, PS PlayStation Plus. Plus. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. They've all got dumb names. Yeah, they've got dumb names all blown into one. But this month, you know, it's not been great. I mean, it's Hot Wheels. What's the other one that came out? Super Hot. Super Hot, which again Hot. is a very old game. A great game, but it's old. I mean, most mm. people have played it. And there's another one as well. But, but yeah, they're just like. They're, they're not competing on the same level right now. And I think we so, haven't uh, even got into their cloud stuff. We won't yeah. go down that road. But don't forget uh, the cloud service is thrown in with uh, Game Pass. Yes, PlayStation mm. have their own one. But right now, while you're talking, I could pick up my phone and play an Xbox game. Yeah, yeah. And I think I think PlayStation really rely on their fan base to go. You know, we love PlayStation too much um, to to not to not do this. You know, to not support them. And I think they're relying on it far too much because a lot of people are turning around and going, well, I'm not happy. And this, I just remembered, PS, PlayStation Stars, bring it back around to that. If you... <laughs> you Sorry, you I, get, for those, before you go into that, those wondering, I am on my phone. I'm trying to see if I can see the full excellent. list of rewards on the um, Xbox app. Excellent. So I'm not, I am listening. Um, 
obviously you have to we, we mentioned it before in our last uh last episode our september roundup um but there's a premium service isn't there with playstation um you have to you have to spend a certain amount of money um and get a certain amount of trophies or whatever in those games and then you get put into a premium customer service the so tiers you get a, yeah a priority and i think i found it here i think there's four tiers to it um where is it oh, i can't remember what it is um do you want the link <laughs> while I'm trying to figure out um how I, if i can find the rewards what was that sorry i've got i've got a link that goes through the tiers if you want it yeah yeah do it do it send it over i'm still trying to see if i can uh figure out what the full list of rewards are because i'm very curious yeah uh, there you go it's insane. nice so there is right 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 okay so we've got four levels um and the first level is oh god i've just seen i've just i've just seen a picture of uh playstation stars not so good um <laughs> anyway so we've got the first level which uh Basically, you've just joined, you've started playing, you've completed some campaigns. You get the benefit of level one is that you get access to digital collectibles, which we've already spoken about, um, and you receive a celebration collectible. I don't know what that is. That could be the Ape Escape one that I mentioned. Mm. Level two, after that, um, you've bought... So, so to get to there, you have to have bought one full game from the PS Store, um, earned one uncommon trophy. Now, I think... This is from the get go, so it doesn't, as Jack mentioned, it doesn't, it doesn't go back. So when you get to level two, you, to get to level two, you have to be on level one and buy a game from the store, okay? Um, and you you have all <laughs> what it says. The benefit is that you get the celebration two collectible and access to all the collectibles from level one. Now, to me, that's just like surely like obviously right but knowing sony they'll probably turn it around at some point and go well you're level two you're not level one you don't get these collectibles <laughs> which sounds like sony um level three is uh again so you're on level two and you have bought two full games from the ps store now i'm not sure if that includes the full game from the first level but maybe not um and you also have had to earn 32 uncommon trophies um mm. and at that point your benefits are again a level three celebration collectible and a birthday collectible now do you does do you have to be a level three when your birthday comes around or do you get it say you got to level four when your birthday there's a lot that is it's all so confusing yeah it's that i know in sony they'll just they'll just rip you a new one um <laughs> <laughs> Well, you've got to be at the high tier level to be able to talk to them, don't you? So. Well, yeah, this is the, I'm just about to get to that. So you get to level four, you've bought four games, four full games. And by this point, we're not sure if that could be seven full games or it's just four from level one. We're not sure. Mm. I don't think it's been specified by Sony yet. But you get the full four games and you have to have earned 128 uncommon trophies. Now, the benefits to this is that you get that celebration collectible again. So then by this point, you've got level one, level two, level three, level four, whoops, uh, yay, I've got four, four celebration collectibles, great, um, and you retain all your collectibles from level one, two, and three, fantastic, so you've got all these lovely JPEGs that you can't even rotate and look at the back of, or the underneath of, but that's brilliant, but also on level four, you get to enjoy chat priority routing, now, of course, it's, it's dumb, so people have been complaining that, um, once you get to level four, they they give you this bonus, and basically, if you have an issue, um, whether that be PS Stars or anything else, um, and you jump onto their chat or or send them an email or whatever, they will recognise that you are level four, and they'll go, well, come along, jump the queue. Um, mm. These people are only level one; they don't matter as much. Maybe they don't mean it in that way, but that's how it comes across. Um, and if, for example, if, 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 if I'm on level one and I've just bought the wrong game to get to level two, but I want to get back to, you know, get back and get a refund and, and buy the game I did want, um, even though I'd be on level two by that point, um, 
I still there could be a hundred thousand people ahead of me that are already on level four that you know I have to wait to get through. Um, now I'm sure it doesn't work that way. I'm sure it works on a time basis as well. But how dumb is that? Like that's it's just capitalism at its best. You know, like I don't oh, want to bring it to a political level, but <laughs> it's 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 so dumb. Obviously, like and I'm. I'm, I'm big enough game pass again but you don't have that like you have all these benefits and no real negatives um but with playstation stars now i don't obviously my, my opinion might change when i use it probably not um and it might change when it all comes to like globally so when it comes to the uk and australia and europe um it might change they're gonna have to get feedback aren't they and make some changes yeah and they, they say like there's new stuff coming already and I don't know if that's that's going to change entirely. Maybe that's just their way of saying, you know, we're going to get your feedback and, and things will change afterwards. But this level system is 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 dumb as hell. Like I get I get there being a level system and 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 and, and you go in okay, well I've, I've I have played this many games and I I'm getting benefits from buying games from the store. But when it's affecting other players, is when people are gonna kick off basically um and i i've seen that people have people are not happy about this chat priority because yeah as i said like people you know if you've got an issue and you need it sorted sorted out in a uh, by a certain time because we all know that sony likes to uh, screw people over with refunds and stuff too um oh yes i've i mean i've never had an issue actually i have um you remember sea of solitude i don't know if you've played it. it's a little indie game uh, no, I've I've played it on Game Pass. Do you know what else I've played on Game Pass? Everything else. Before you go down that road. <laughs> no, no, what? Power Wash Simulator that I'm currently playing while you're talking off my phone. Sick. Sick. That's such a good game as well. I got um, I got distracted from looking for the rewards and I ended up playing Power <laughs> Simulator on my phone. I'm going to stop now. But that's fantastic. I was mainly doing it to prove a point. Yeah, I mean, that's fantastic. You can't do that on, on the PlayStation. No, anyway, see you solitude. Yeah, yeah. So I, I got my PlayStation 5 um, and I bought Sea of Solitude through the store um, because me me and the girlfriend, we were going to do a platinum race. Now, because it's only mm-hmm. a short game, we were like, let's, let's see who can get the platinum first. Um, I bought it and it was entirely buggy, unplayable on the PS5, but that wasn't told to me on the store. Now, I had to create three three or four tickets before uh, with, with the customer service because they kept making me open new ones because they, you know, they, they would ask me to reply to their email, but then the email wouldn't go through and I'd have to, they'd say, oh, just, just make a new ticket. So I did. And I never got a resolution because I wanted a refund because it was unplayable. Never got a resolution. So <laughs> I just had it in my library. I had to borrow somebody else's PS4 so I could actually play it. Um, or at least finish it. I, yeah, but it just goes to show that you know I probably wouldn't have that problem with Xbox. This this I just realised this this um this episode has turned into Game Pass versus <laughs> PlayStation Stars. Yeah, this this episode is PlayStation Stars. What went wrong and how Game Pass is better? Or some <laughs> shit like that. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. And Game Pass isn't even their loyalty program, so yeah, exactly, exactly. It, we've gone on one, but I think it's good. It's where the t- it all links in together. That's the thing. You start exactly. talking about one of these things, you can't help but bring up the other because it that's what it's coming down to these days when deciding consoles is these little things. Um, I, mean, I don't know. We, it, I'm not getting stars. You're not getting. I mean, it I'll at get all. it because it, well, no, it's free, so I will is not it, get. Is it is it an automatic kind of? You've I'm not got sure. It. Oh, yeah, it's, the app will update, right? I don't yeah. know if you then have to go into it and say, okay. yes, I'm part of this. I'll, uh, okay, I'll look at it out of curiosity. But my point is, I'm never unless they make some serious changes, I'm never spending 1.7K in the store for oh, me yeah, to get a free yeah. game. So I don't care anymore. Yeah, I don't think I'd even spend that much over, like, five years, you know. I'm not convinced I'm, I'm, I've spent that much now, and I've had PlayStation since ps well i mean ps2 but i mean uh, an online yeah. store since ps3 i bet you if you added up my ps3 ps4 and ps5 digital purchases it still isn't 1.7k yeah which means yeah. after all this time if loyalty was around since ps3 i still wouldn't have earned enough to buy a 70 quid game which is madness that's like a decade 
Yeah. But then and you do I'm not get people... anytime soon going to go on. I was going to say, you do get people that do just buy specifically digitally. Now, that's, sure. that could be like based on a, a physical issue, maybe a disability. Um, and or, if you're the digital, or they just like it. Life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which itself but, is an issue in my mind. I just, I, I don't know. Again, like you that. look at the, yeah. no, or do I? But you look at the economy around you right now and you say, again, we're getting a little, even getting a little political again here. It's just like <laughs> the world's kind of gone to shit in terms of uh, the economy pretty much all around the world right now. And you go, what am I going to do? Am I going to spend 70 quid? I mean, 70 quid's normally the disc price. Some Sometimes these games are like 80, 90 fucking quid on the PlayStation yeah. Store for the digital version. Because for some reason, the digital version is always more expensive than the disc version. Which Never is why I don't use the me. store. <laughs> yeah, but what am I going to do in this current economic crisis? Am I going to spend your 70, 80 quid on the PlayStation Store so I can get my 10 fucking, my 700 points, let's say, <laughs> which still is not enough, but near enough to get a fucking game? Or am I going to trade in the list of fucking games behind me and buy it on disc for 20 quid because I've got 40 quid in credit from somewhere? Exactly. That's the economy yeah. we're in today. And it's just like, this is so, so mismanaged. This is Sony going, we want to compete with Xbox, but we don't want to take the financial hit of giving that much money away for free for people who just want to do their quizzes, etc. Yeah. So we're going to make it so you can really only earn points via spending it. That's where the big points are going to come from. They'll have their campaigns, mm. but from what I can see, that's it offering, you know, pennies worth of points in comparison to buying a 70 quid game. Yeah. Pretty sure <laughs> that, that campaign I said about the music <coughs> was worth 50 points compared to buying God of War or Ragnarok, which will get you 700 that's and then, it's, meanwhile, it's on again, repeating myself, meanwhile on Xbox, if I do my fucking quizzes and I earn a couple of <laughs> achievements, I'll get my 2,000 points. Thank you very much. I haven't spent a penny. Yeah. It's just madness. The whole thing's crazy. The best thing that they could do, now going into like how they should change PlayStation Stars, just while it's in my head, is they should give you points per trophy that you earn. Maybe per platinum. Per no, trophy, because if... then you start getting people buying the the one pound platinums. Not that I've ever done that. Um, where it's got you know fifty trophies you can earn in two minutes, and then you start cheesing the system like that. But, I think you'd have to be careful, considering there's you know fifty or trophies to a game sometimes. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Maybe, just, maybe... Just, there's nothing wrong with copying Xbox in this occasion. Yeah, because they've got their own. They've got their different systems. Like they work differently, and people know that they're different at this point. You know, they're not. It's not like the beginning where you had the original Xbox and PS2, and they were fighting it out. You know, people. They're two different streams now, and if even if PS5 went, that's a great idea, mate. Like I'm using it. Then I don't see any issue with it. No. And, yeah. Take what they've done and make it just a little bit more gamey, like a treasury hunt type thing, you know. Yeah. Oh, it's you know they obviously Sony don't have their own browser they're trying to push. And maybe theirs could be like what 2002 game featured this person, and you've got to load that game up off the PS Plus, PS yeah. Premium or whatever. Yeah. Done. <coughs> that would be that would be more gamey and more of a challenge than what Xbox does, but also copying what Xbox does, but putting their own spin on it. it. It's just Sony being Sony and thinking about the money side as everything. And which That's is it. just, you can have your points to get your free game, but only if you spend all your money with us on our store. Yeah. It's just, it's I'm just like, it. they're just like, Oh, we want to keep you as a customer, but really we're pushing you away. It's like, yeah. Because, well, I'm just not interested now. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to get PS Stars, but and I'm going to see if it changes over the months, which it almost definitely will, but I just don't see any... Yeah, I just don't see any... I don't see much point. Especially when Game Pass, I can actually... As you've said, uh, I mean, you've convinced me to log into Game Pass daily. I don't don't even have my Xbox plugged in most days um, because it turns on by itself and stuff. I don't know why. I think it's updated, uh, uh, but yeah, updates. Yeah, but you you know the new ones. Mine's the like the old Xbox One, mm. so it like ter- fully turns on. Whereas the new ones, they I think they like 
sleep Power, turn on. Like rest mode, yeah. Yeah, whereas mine goes in the middle of the night, and I'm like, what? what's happening? Um, yeah. But yeah, no, I just, I just at this point, at this point, they haven't shown enough to, to for, I don't think for anyone to be fully interested or invested. Like, people aren't going to spend, you know, one thousand seven hundred fifty quid to get one game where they could just save some money and buy the game when it comes out for 70 quid, you know? Um, yeah, it's just, we won't to get, me, it's, we won't, go on. it's crazy. No, I was just going to say it's crazy. No, I was just going to say last point on it as well, and I don't really want to debate it. It's just also too little, too late. You're too late to the game, and when you have joined the game, you fucked it. So even if you <laughs> yeah. fix it now over the next six months, you're super fucking late to the game by that point, and... We all all remember that time you fucked it, so. Entirely. And that's not even talking about Nintendo's loyalty program, which is pretty good as well. Yeah, it's not too bad. I haven't had too much handling experience in it, but I know you. I know from people that have used it, it's, it's, it's not Xbox level, but it's certainly not PlayStation level. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's a little bit more, like, just, just briefly before we end up uh, end this, but um, I think Nintendo are... They, they've definitely dived into their player market, with it so they've gone okay use these apps you know you get some points for digital pur- purchases um but it's just for like i think you can buy games with it but really it's more just like little bits that you can buy so mm. obviously jordan jordan loves uh animal cross and she got a little dodo airlines bag from it she just used her points to she never uses it it's just in a cupboard somewhere but um yeah, a little De- Dodo Airlines bag. You know, you can get T-shirts and stuff like that. So again, there's there's um, and games, know, yeah, and, and games, yeah. So there's the, the real life purchase. And I think the points they they they're easy to do. You just have to play games, you know, <laughs> or like look at things. It's it's like it's like Xbox really. Um, Don't you get one for physical games as well? Am I imagining that you can redeem uh, points from your physical game installation? I'm pretty sure you fucking can. Probably, probably. I mean, Nintendo are good like that. Um, wow, they're good to an extent. We're not going to go down <laughs> that road. We're not going to discuss how their fucking store is always crazy expensive. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't, I'm not a Nintendo guy, so I don't no, really play their no. games. But, I mean, they also have loads of discounts and sales and stuff, so you can use your points in the sale and get a game quite cheap. Um, it just says, oh, no, it's just digital games. Um, oh, is it? Just on the website it says purchase eligible digital games um, yeah and play apps so um, fair enough yeah. you're also not paying fucking 10 quid a month for their online service how much is it? it's only like 4 quid or something it, it was £3 something when I had yeah. a Switch I don't know if that's gone up I don't, I don't have a Switch so I don't know no. alright fuck it cool. I don't want to talk about this anymore yeah neither do I um just to sum up, PlayStation Stars is a bit shit right now. Game Pass is great, go get it. Um, Nintendo is kind of cool. Um, and yeah, there's definitely going to be a PlayStation Xbox War happening again. It's my takes on it. What are your hot takes? Mm, I don't know if it'll be a war. Um, but it's yeah. just... It's just, yeah. It, PlayStation, PlayStation is outdoing Xbox in terms of, I think, probably games. Um, mm-hmm. And in terms of market share, but... Xbox is doing a lot in their favour that they could bounce back. Not that they're down, but like they could they could take Sony back down again. Sony's been on top for a little while now, even with mm-hmm. their misstepping's. But they keep doing things that keep making me wonder to myself: if it wasn't for the exclusives, would I still be on PlayStation? I don't know. I don't yeah. know. We'll see. No, I mean I I agree. I agree. I mean I started as Xbox, mm. so I was Xbox original. Then went I to think you said PS4. Go on. No, no, I, I was think, just giving you my timeline. <laughs> no, I think you said you hit on something earlier that I think is a very good point. I love PlayStation and I am a PlayStation guy. If you come up to me and said, hey, Jack, what console should I get? I would tell you Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's not oh, that. for me to say, like, I'd, 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 I'd change myself, but yeah, if. Mm. if Somebody asked yeah, me. If you were if you were just getting into gaming and you, you you didn't know what you liked, I would never suggest PlayStation Five as your first game console. No, because they're just the Xbox. Yeah, they just rip you a new one a little bit with the prices. Yeah. And on that note, so yeah, 
Outro us out, baby. Um, thanks for watching. Obviously, as always, like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your mum, tell her there's a tell your mum, tell her that there's a sexy guy with a moustache and he kind of looks like Tom Selleck, and she'll watch straight away. Um, Jack, say your line. No, say it, baby. Say it, oh, baby. Sure I like uh, we we've had this private thing back and forth that my line is. Uh, like, comment, share, and do all that other shit YouTubers say to annoy you. But I like that yours could be, um, yeah, tell your mum. Tell your mum. Tell your mum. Tell your mum to watch. <laughs> that is every every episode now. Tell your mum. Tell your mum. I'm going to remind you at the, in the next two episodes we're about to record of things. <laughs> tell your mum. Okay. All right. Awesome. Tell your mum I said hi. Tell your mum I said hi. Send me a video of you telling your mum I said hi. <laughs> no, right. not like that. <laughs> right. All right. Goodbye to everyone and their mums. See you later.